Welcome to TED Talks and Walks, Conifers of Arizona. This brief video connects the dots between library land and the land where evergreens grow. We begin at Spring Valley Library where we access two resources, an audiobook for the drive to the hike and some useful guides to help the hiker identify the plants encountered. Read to succeed or listen as the case may be. Hiking on Spruce Mountain offers the opportunity to make basic distinctions between these species. Since it is here where confusion between spruce and white fir resulted in the erroneous name for this mountain. Mature ponderosa pines may reach a height of over 100 feet. The bark is a characteristic red color and is usually fragrant. Vegetative characteristics such as stems and leaves are usually sufficient to accurately ID the conifers of Arizona. For example, alligator bark juniper has a characteristic bark distinguishing it from all other species of juniper in Arizona. As the name suggests, the bark is like an alligator skin. The leaves are like scales and the fleshy cones are about the size of a pea and blue to purple depending on how ripe they are. Plants other than conifers grow in this zone too, such as several different species of oaks with their simple leaves of varying shape. False indigo with its divided leaves and purple flowers in season. Fendler's buckbrush with its stout storms, thorns and white flowers in season. Silk tassel with its thick leaves and gray stems, a classic chaparral species. California buckthorn with its fleshy fruits of varying color depending on ripeness. They say they're edible. What do you think? Butter and eggs with their bright yellow, irregular flowers, which display a prominent spur. Manzanita with its beautiful red bark and apple-like fruits. Again, they say they're edible. What do you think? Remember that the ancient wisdom, you know them by their fruits, is literally true. What do you have if the plant has acorns? Oaks, that's always true. Not every plant has every part to help with its identification. Therefore, you may need to examine several different individuals in the same area to get an accurate picture of the plant in question. Goldenrod and purple rock crests may be observed along with non-vascular plants such as lichens, which are actually two different plants growing together in perfect harmony, a fungus and an algae. Back to the conifers. Douglas fir is one of the most common and distinct species in the conifer zone, with its cones, which display a prominent three-pronged bract between the scales. There will be lots of intact cones on the ground around the tree. Another low shrub commonly found in the conifer zone is snowberry, with its opposite leaves and small white fruits in season. It's often necessary to handle plants to determine their ID. 
The white fir on Spruce Mountain is relatively easy to distinguish from spruce by looking at the branchlets. Spruce branchlets are rough and bumpy. Fir branchlets are smooth. But as with most organisms, their means of reproduction is the most reliable aspect to distinguish species. Therefore, it's necessary to examine the cones, which grow at the top of the trees. It's time to climb a white fir on Spruce Mountain to establish the proper identity of the species that has become the namesake for the second highest summit in Yavapai County. Since fir cones disintegrate on the branch, you don't generally find intact fir cones on the ground. Therefore, you must examine them on the tree where they stand upright on the branch. Spruce cones, on the other hand, droop from the branch, as do other conifers. Since there are no spruce on Spruce Mountain, it is necessary to look at one in a cultivated landscape in our vicinity, and the Civic Center in Prescott Valley provides just such an opportunity. Notice the pedestals upon which the needles stand, making for a rough surface on each branchlet when the needle falls off. It is difficult to tell in this video, but the cones are near the top of the tree and they are intact and drooping. Several cones will be found around the base of the tree, unlike a fir tree. Another conifer, this time with scale-like leaves and brown round cones, is used in local landscapes. It naturally occurs in canyons from 3,500 feet in elevation to about 6,500 feet. Arizona cypress is its name. Next, pinyon pine is widespread around 4,000 feet in elevation across the southwest. The characteristics that most easily distinguish them are the short needles with a sheath around the base of the cluster of needles. Remember the online tool linked with this video for assistance with identifying the conifers of Arizona. Call me at Spring Valley Library if you have questions. 928-717-8118. Finally, we consider ephedra, or Mormon tea. It is a desert dweller and obviously looks nothing like a conifer, but does bear similar cones, placing it in the same 